leaders of the world's major emerging economies, the so-called BRICS, will hold their third annual summit this week. And joining Brazil, Russia, India and China this year is South Africa. Our next guest is going to be part of that delegation traveling with President Jacob Zuma. Ivor, Ivor Ichikovitz is chairman of aerospace and defense specialist Paramount Group, and he's executive chairman of private equity firm TransAfrica Capital. He joins us from Singapore. Very good to have you with us, Ivor. So tell us what you're going to be doing when you go to China. What's the top of the agenda for you? Well, this is a very exciting time for South Africa and certainly an exciting time for Af the African continent as a whole because it gives us an opportunity to interface with other emerging countries and primarily the countries with whom we are the biggest trading partners. So the agenda is going to be varied, but uh, this is the first time in any of the BRICS um, discussions that there's been a business summit. So the primary purpose of the business summit is to create an agenda for interface between business people from these various countries so that we can take the, the policy that the politicians have been working on for a number of years and put it into practice. So what kind of deals are you going to be looking to, to do? I mean, your private equity group has interests in aerospace and property and energy and agriculture. Which areas are you going to be targeting while you're there? I don't think that this summit is going to be as much about doing deals than it is about creating a framework for business to interface. You know, um, South Africa's involvement in, 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 in this process is brand new and uh, South Africa is coming into this as the gateway to Africa and even though the South African government has made it very clear that they have no mandate to speak on behalf of the rest of the continent, the focus is going to be to try and find interface points and ways to create policy which are good for Africa as a whole and good for the rest of the partners as well. So what are you going to be saying to your counterparts, to the other representatives of BRIC countries there? What are you going to be telling them about South Africa and why they should invest? Well, South Africa as the gateway to Africa is certainly the, the, an, an environment which is very easy to access for, for, for these, these countries. Now, right now, the economies of these other emerging countries are very dependent on raw materials from Africa. And one of the biggest issues on the agenda over the next couple of years is going to be to create partnerships which allow for the beneficiation of raw materials in Africa so that we can create jobs and that we can uplift the economies of various African countries. One of the biggest dangers in the emerging world is that these huge economies are very dependent on raw materials for which there is very little benef beneficiation in Africa. And if we don't get that right, the future of the African economies is seriously at risk. How do you make sure that you do get that right? I mean, you say you're the gateway to Africa, but clearly it's going to be up to these individual countries to make sure they, they protect themselves when it comes to gaining investment and, and, and selling their resources abroad. You know, it's the, the South African government under the ABA leadership of President Jacob Zuma has initiated a program of partnership with the rest of Africa. And South Africa, as partner to the rest of the continent, is trying to pursue a policy whereby African governments insist on beneficiation in their own countries. As I've said, creation of jobs is essential for the growth of this very exciting uh, set of economies. And I think that, that through a dialogue, through, through the platform that the BRICS initiative creates, we'll be able to dialogue with the consumers of these materials to a point where there's an understanding of why this is important for all the economies involved. Ivor Ichi Kovitz, chairman of TransAfrica Capital, joining us there from Singapore. Thanks for being with us.